Hey, welcome back. We're at Lamentations 4, verses 10 to 13 for our reading today. Let's read it, and then we'll think about it together just briefly. The hands of the compassionate women have cooked their own children. They became food for them in the destruction of the daughter of my people. The Lord has fulfilled his fury. He has poured out his fierce anger. He has kindled a fire in Zion, and it has devoured its foundations. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy could enter the gates of Jerusalem because of the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests who shed in her midst the blood of the just. So I think you noticed from a previous devotional, Jerusalem was laid under siege after, by Babylon. They, they, dis, they disobeyed God. They sort of lost his protection. He said, okay, you're going to learn the hard way. He withdrew his protection. Finally, the army of Babylon came and they laid siege around Jerusalem for a period, space of about two and a half years. Everything else in the country was basically devastated. These people, many of them were locked into Jerusalem behind the walls with nothing to eat for two and a half years. And here's kind of the ultimate degradation. Uh, here you have women having children and actually eating their dead babies uh, for food. I mean, I don't know, you can't get much lower than that, but this is what they were reduced to because they refused to be morally responsible people. And so this is the situation they they found themselves in. And God is saying, I own this. I, I, I inflicted this on them. These are my people. I let them go into this terrible, terrible situation. Why do you think he did that? Because he wants them to turn to him. He wants people to return to him. He, he, the last thing God wants is for this, this kind of a tragedy to happen on planet Earth. And yet in this reign of sin and self self-servingness. He allows a lot of things to happen in this, at least in this temporary space, while this, uh, shall we call it a great controversy between Christ and Satan, between good and evil, while this controversy is on, he's allowing a lot of stuff to happen so that we can see how it ends and that we'll never go back to that ever again. So here's this devastating picture. Notice why this happened. Yes, God allowed it to happen, so in a sense God is in it, but notice why. We noticed it at verse 13. Because of the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests. See, the spiritual leaders are at fault. It's the spiritual leaders who are at fault. And why do you have the false prophets? Why are they prospering? Because what you have there is you have the people want to hear a certain thing, and you have these people who are willing to present it. And they present what the people want to hear in the name of God. They just pretend that they're telling what God is saying. And the people are lapping it up. They're saying, yeah, that sounds about right. Sure, you know, it goes right with what we're doing. It's good stuff. Let's hear some more of that. And they'll put the money in the offering plates for that. They'll go back for it again and again. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll pay for it in every which way. They want that message. They want the, the low-impact message so that we can do whatever we want and have a little sheen of spirituality on our life when the true prophets and the true priests would give them something, a much stronger call to surrender their hearts to the God of heaven. So that's what you have here, is this enormous destruction in Jerusalem because of the sins, especially pointed out here, of the priests and the prophets. But that again is linked to the people who were saying, uh, tell us these, these fun stories and we'll be happy with that. And that's what they got more of until God had to allow the Babylonian army to come and crush that nation. So the lesson here, God's people are accountable. Much has been given to us. Much will be required, like we talked about the other day. And because they permitted this and encouraged this, because there was great injustice in the land that didn't have to be, God allowed them to come into this enormously awful situation. Why would we ever allow it to come to that? But let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to learn from the uh, lessons from the kingdom of Judah and the way you chase on them. Help us, Lord, to be right. May it not come to these kind of measures in our own case, but we look out on the horizon and we see lots of gloomy things and things that are way, uh, way out of line and we don't see too much good coming. Lord, help us to be, our hearts turned to you. Help us to be seeking your ways and to be doing the things of your work, of your kingdom now, while it's still opportunity there for us. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So there's our plan. Let's be Christians now when the world especially needs us. And God will bless that. Would you like to have that blessing? I would. God be with you this day.